And four packages arrived today in the mailbox. So, I don't think they'll all be of interest to you, but I'll open them and the ones that are of interest, uh, I'll keep for the movie. And this last one, I think I know what it is. This must be the aluminum base for my hit or miss engine. So it's a three inch piece of aluminum. Not too square at either end, I guess. So I'm guessing once this is shortened up a little bit, I'll probably mount the igniter back here. And maybe I'll make a hole big enough to receive this connector and pass the wiring down into the bottom. And I'll make a hole over here somewhere big enough to pass this connector. Then I can do the wiring underneath. Here we are again with the little Chinese engine. And the first thing I did was measure this engine. I'm sure it's metric, but I used a steel square measuring everything to probably 30 second. Then I decided to use, tentatively, a piece of 3 inch aluminum channel. And so I made myself a template. The length doesn't matter, I, that's just an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. The center line of the base and the center line between the flywheels is offset by about three sixty-fourths of an inch. So I want to center the flywheels on my piece of aluminum, not the base. Actually, I drew the bottom up, then I flopped it over so that I was looking at the top, a view of the base. So I'll put this template on the aluminum channel. I'll move the engine to a suitable location. And then I'll center punch these holes. It's time to drill the holes and square the ends up on the mill. I'm going to square up the end of the uh, aluminum base.
This is a battery out of my Canon PowerFlex camera. I bought two of these and two chargers. The battery is a 1800 milliamp hour. I, I removed this from the top of one of the chargers and the terminals are here which would be these two terminals battery goes in like that and remove the uh, unused wires from these terminals and uh, these two remaining terminals I'll hook this power lead that came with the blue engine and then I'll slide down this heat shrink over the soldered area and I hope that will power the engine. This is the blue engine mounted on the aluminum base. I mounted the battery pack, the uh, ignition module, and the fuel tank. Fuel tank's there. I put an end on the uh, spark plug wire. I uh, will zoom in on that. You can see a piece of heat shrink tubing starts here. This is double tubing down to here. That explains why this bulges in the in the tube. There you can see it. This is a little spark plug clip, or three of them, and it costs me two dollars a piece for the clip. That's six dollars, and then five twenty-five for shipping. I've got some ties on the side for the ignition wire. I haven't tightened them yet. I tend to dress this wire up a little bit and probably mount another tie wrap here. And these tie wraps are fastened to the aluminum base. So things I have to do now I've got to drill one or two holes through here for the wiring. I've got to tap. They're already drilled. I need to tap these two holes for 440. And I need to get some two cycle mix. For those of you who have really sharp eyes, you'll notice I have removed the push rod. Where, oh, <laughs> there it is. Um, I will provide a little AutoCAD drawing, or, or maybe a PDF, of the dimensions, length. One end is a ball, and the other end's flat. And I notice in moving the engine around, it's awful easy to lose that thing. <laughs> 